हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ हर्षपाल करंटली आई एम इन क्रोशिया आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग दिस वीडियो टू शेयर सम यूजफुल इंफॉर्मेशन फॉर दोज हु इज़ प्लानिंग टू ड्राइव इन यूरोप राइट सो आई एम एक्चुअली लिविंग इन बूदा पेस्ट आई हैव लाइक रेसिडेंट परमिट नाउ यस्टरडे आई ट्रेवल फ्राम बूदा पेस्ट टू क्रोशिया and i i drove a car so i thought of recording this and sharing the information if someone is planning to uh uh travel uh, in europe via the car or you want to have some driving experience in europe so uh the first of all uh, before actually i planned i did some research to know whether is it uh, am i eligible to drive in europe on my indian driving license so unfortunately i do not have the uh, idp international uh, driving permit right so uh, but my license is like issued from the bhopal rto which is like in english so uh, what i did is i i contacted couple of uh, renting companies to know whether i am eligible and they said yeah that's fine they are okay if your license is, is in uh, english it should not be problem uh, and then second challenge was uh, uh you know here like people drive on the right side and i do not have any experience i never drove on the right side in india we we drove left side right and also the steering here is on the left hand side in uh, india it's on right hand side so uh, i was really concerned whether how whether i will be comfortable or i will be uh, uh i will have the confidence to drive in europe uh, so what i did is before renting a car i took help from one of my colleague um he actually uh used the share now applications and he has actually idp so he was able to successfully register on the share now application which is like local app like like zoom car and uh, we took we, we we took that uh, the car for 2 hours and uh, i had a like little bit of ride my might be around 40 minutes and i realized it's not that difficult it's easy even you drive on uh right side is not that difficult it takes some time then i decided okay um i think now i have confidence i can rent a car and uh, i just called a couple of companies and i booked one of the car one of the challenge what i see is when i was booking many of the companies is asking for the deposit right so generally it goes like from 1000 euro to 3000 euro but luckily what i did is i i was able to find one of the the renting agency who only took the 50 euro as a deposit and um, i booked the car for the four days and i had to pay in total 278 euros for four days okay which is like which includes the the complete insurance and it's always advisable uh, whenever you take car always go with the full insurance and full insurance you don't need to worry about uh, uh, any damage even if your car is lost you will you don't need to worry about it right so um, if you need more information uh, from where i rented might be i can share that as well uh, then i think yeah then uh, uh, it's it's always good you you book in advance so more early you you book i think uh, you will get the better price as well right and um, yeah then uh, uh, next day like i took a car in the morning it took me only half an hour uh, they just asked me my passport and the indian driving license and um, yeah that's it and they just gave me the car um, with full insurance cover it was very 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 good car with all the features uh, although I, i only selected for the basic version so yeah that's the story and uh, the other challenge uh, i was really concerned about uh, uh, the border crossing because i have the schengen visa and croatia is not part of the schengen country as of now although they are in process might be in a few months or might be in some time they will uh, actually become part of the schengen but today if you cross uh, if you have to get into the the croatia on the schengen visa so then you have to go through the border check so um, um yeah then i i i just took the car and i drove and uh, when you go to the uh, the border check so either you coming by the bus or you coming by the car i think it's the same Uh, it's the same border check right so they have different lane for the buses they have different lane for the cars and um, 
there is one lane for the European Union's uh, citizens and there is one for the all rest of the passport holders and there is separate lane if someone is coming from the bus right and uh, I was not expecting uh, it is going to take uh, that much of time for me it took like two hours of the time there was a long queue and um, we had to wait a lot so it took me almost like two hours of the time although the process is very simple they just asked for the uh, the passport and uh, I just give him the my resident permit um, yeah and then oh, they, oh, they also asked for the, the COVID certificate so I had my COVID certificate um, I actually got one of the jab in one of the uh, the vaccine in uh, Budapest so I had that certificate I produced that and uh, and there is no fee you don't need to pay anything they just stamp your passport and uh, that's it you can you can move forward um, in between there are uh, because I took the car so uh, from the Budapest so the toll for the hung Hungary was uh, already paid it was included but I had to pay for the toll uh, when I get into the Croatia so I, I came to the um, uh, Zadar in Croatia which is like on the, the coastal side of it and um, I had to pay the toll two times one of the toll was of 40 kuna and another one is I think uh, if I'm not wrong it was like one, 110 or something right so yeah that's it uh, so it's a pretty uh, easy process it's not very complicated so if you're planning to come I don't think so there's a challenge so far um, um, I, I did not have a challenge and even on the water check they did not ask me about my license they asked for the, the paper of the car of course I gave them the, the the registration card and also the car insurance which the rental company provided to me so uh, yeah I think that's my experience I thought of sharing with you if you want to know more information might be you can reach out to me uh, and uh, let me also quickly I am so this is the beautiful place uh, it's one of the beach in Zadar very crystal uh, very beautiful crystal clear uh, water and this is like March 2022 although it's not the right time because um, the summer is the good place to visit this place but I don't I do not have the choice so I have to come but yeah, it's a beautiful place, you can see. Okay, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.